got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in LA. Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Update. Since I can't call it the Stimulus Check Update because they've already been mailed out. And on that topic, from what I understand, they actually are doing it in phases. Right now, they're doing it in phase one. So, some of you people have probably already seen the $1,400 stimulus check hit enter your bank accounts. And if you have, please actually comment in my comment bar and let me know. And as I also found out, the Democrats are also working on a new infrastructure project, trying to pass a bill for that one. That Basically, I guess, increases more 5G networks around the world, I guess. Well, okay, around the United States, should I say. But we could say around the world because they care about the other countries more than they do us sometimes. But that's all right. Caring is sharing, you know what I mean? But, um, like I said, they're working on that. Um, the Republicans are still under attack from Donald Trump from, you know, them trying to put him up for, uh, what's it called? Impeachment for his insurrection. Wow, I'll try to say that three times fast. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually going to try to do a new part to my stimulus thing. I'm actually going to take stuff off. Okay, yes, I actually set up before. I'm on multiple forms of uh, social media. I'm on Facebook. I have three channels on YouTube. In fact, I'll drop a few pictures of my two, other two channels in here in case you want anyone would like to actually subscribe to them and see what that's about. And... Um, my job is basically to entertain you guys, but like I said, I mean, we have Donald Trump still attacking the Republicans for his incitement of the insurrection and them saying, yeah, let's impeach his ass, which I think all the Republicans should have, but I think they, why they didn't is because they were a bit afraid of him, you know, I mean, him and his almighty power, <laughs> what power that is, I don't know. I mean, he has a lot of brain, a lot of brainwashed and yes, I do say brainwashed and very undereducated people because all the platforms I have is TikTok, and I get I get the pictures I'm gonna put in at the end of this video, at the end of TikTok, at, at from TikTok at the end of this video, and it's actually what is it's, it's it's informational stuff that actually will help you understand a bit more what people are thinking. I mean, it might be about the minimum wage because I've tried to put that in there in here as well as about what people's thoughts about the minimum wage are. The ones I put in here is some guy talk uh, uh, about. Something having to do with the Republicans, as well as two other informational things. I mean, they're not like yesterday's were sort of comical. I was trying to, you know, lighten people's moods up. Now, they've got five views for that, which is pretty good. It's not bad. And uh, I hope I enlighten their mood for watching it. I hope what I'm about to uh, put at the end of this video enlightens you guys as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, if you got your stimulus checks, please comment in my comment bar and let me know if you have, because... And well, basically, what state you're from, if you have to say I have, and then put your state, you don't have to put nothing else, I don't really care about you know any bank information that's your information, not mine. That's how it's gonna stay. And this way, I can actually try to figure out which states in, in, in phase one of the stimulus checks because apparently it's like phase one, probably phase two, and third phase is probably the actual where you get the paper checks or the debit cards if you don't have uh, direct deposit information. So stage one is just like the early direct deposits. I haven't got mine yet, so in case you're wondering, I mean, mine got gets transferred to my TurboTax debit card, unfortunately. Um, I haven't got it yet. I've checked. I had like $6.79 on there. So I haven't got it yet. But um, And I'm in Utah, of course, as my, uh, as my location says. So I'm not in phase one. I might be in phase two or I might get the paper check or the debit card. But like I said, hope you guys actually enjoy what I'm about to put at the very end of this video. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. Against a mass immigrant invasion threatening your livelihood. Come on. The real danger came from putting a recklessly uneducated man with a personality disorder in the White House who spent his one catastrophic term branding America's democratic cities enemies of the country, while taking credit for economic growth rates he inherited from a Democrat. He and his Republican Senate, under the smokescreen of your disassociation from reality and the brand name Drain the Swamp, filled the cabinet with profiteers like themselves. Billionaires made a trillion bucks 
while they gutted our State Department, our FBI, our CIA, our DHS, our post office. Whatever Trump touched, he wrecked. They attacked our U.S. education system. They tore down the minimal regulations that we have protecting America's water and air. They turned our already abysmal borders into a human rights crisis. They smeared America's top scientists. Former president is facing yet another legal challenge of his own in federal court. Former impeachment manager Eric Swalwell filed a lawsuit against President Trump, his son Donald Trump Jr., plus Rudy Giuliani and the Alabama congressman Mo Brooks, all for their alleged roles in the Capitol riots. Pete, what's the significance of this civil suit? Well, certainly more trouble for the presidentship. It's, uh, this one basically takes the House impeachment article over the Capitol riot and turns it into a federal civil lawsuit. Hey, I have a question for Republicans. Why don't y'all like facts? Legitimate information that's given to you that's been proven by scientists and other professionals that work in those fields. Why don't y'all believe in facts? Because some of these people still believe this. Conservative stars like Tucker Carlson and Candace Owens keep claiming George Floyd wasn't killed by police. Oh, really? Let me show you what the doctor said that did the autopsy on George Floyd. I'll read it to you very carefully. Did George Floyd really die from a drug overdose and not homicide? No. Autopsy results from the Hennepin County Medical Examiner in Minnesota and a private autopsy both show that although drugs were in Floyd's system, they did not cause his death. The medical examiner ruled the death as a homicide. Uh yeah, we're always telling lies. We know our viewers buy it. Blame Nancy for the riot, even though it isn't true. Oh, did people voting twice? They're gonna take your guns away and take away your right to pray. The libs are coming for you. When they come for you. Oh, and we'll blame the windmills for this disruption. Facts don't really matter anymore. Fossil fuels are far and more reliable. what it comes right down to is brain corruption. Manufacture outrage daily. Gotta fight the culture war. Cause it's all in bad faith. The LGBTQ, CIP. January 6th Capitol riot faith, was a faith, gift to Democrats. You and your faith, ilk want to confiscate faith. guns. Maybe I'll broadcast that vaccines are safe. When our boss got one anyway. Can't you see it's all a ruse?